Hello traders, welcome to a new video on how you can short meme coins such as Mudang, even if you're using Polymarket. We're going to dive right into that. If you like what I'm talking about today or you want to know about other strategies that we run in the Discord, you can click the link in the description below. Right now, we are not really charging much in order to have access, so if you guys want to take advantage, uh, then click the link in the description below and you will get access to all of my strategies that I keep behind a paywall, and you'll see why I keep them behind a paywall. With that, let's dive right in. Mudang is a coin that has really taken off, um, as you can see here. It started September 9th, and you can see the chart from September 10th right here, guys. Really, I mean, saying that it's gone up a lot would be an understatement. It's up 121,000%. Uh, if I just shift click from you know the beginning of it to the all-time high of 34 cents. Now, a lot of the time, the issue with these kinds of things are they become market bubbles. How can you take advantage of a market bubble but also not get destroyed? You might think perpetuals. You might think, why not trade a futures contract on it? That's not a bad idea. This is Mexi. This is the Mexi futures contract of Mudang. There's a problem though. You never know how high a coin is going to go and you could always be liquidated. So there's a lot of issues when you try to do this. Let's say that you use 20x leverage anywhere here to try to short because you think that the coin's gonna fall, you would be liquidated. Let's say that you use 5x leverage, just five times leverage, you put in 10 grand to have a $50,000 short position and you do it anywhere here, you would have been liquidated. So how can we actually short this without running the risk of being liquidated and not even have to worry about time? Two things you can do, and that brings us to Poly market. A few things that you can do about this. This is the first pumped out fund coin to reach $1 billion market cap. If you are curious about the market cap, just click this and it will show you the market cap almost hit, you know, the max was 338 mil. Uh, and that occurred on September 28th. Now, if you wanted to short Mudang, there are two things that you can do, guys. So pay attention to these two different strategies. The first one is on that day where, you know, September 26th, when coin, when this was really, really taking off. Uh, really the origin of this contract all the way back here yeah september 26 you could have bought no anywhere at around 61. what that means is that you buy it at 61 which means that you either earn 39 or you lose 61. now what that essentially means guys is that if you put in a thousand dollars into this right here at the price of 61 you will either earn 390 or you will lose 610 using a uh, thousand shares, not a thousand dollars, sorry, if you buy a thousand shares of no, of Mudang. That's one thing you can do. There is a better way to do it though. So this is one way that you could technically short or kind of like buy a put, you know, make an option trade on Mudang falling in price, not hitting a billing. There is a better way that you could have done this though. If we go down to here of others slash none before April, 2025, there was a really outstanding trade that anyone could have taken when this was occurring and the price was quite high. It was right here. So if you see right here, this was a gold mine of an opportunity, absolute gold mine of an opportunity. Let me break it down for you. This is essentially saying that at the point in time, you could have purchased about a 36.5% chance that uh, another coin or that no coins would hit 1 billion before April, 2025. Now, as you can see from the blue line, which is the yes, um, you can see none before April 2025. So this is basically betting on all these pumped out fund coins not succeeding. That includes Mudang at the time. If you had done this, you could have more than doubled your money. Um, maybe, you know, 2.5. I don't know what the math would be, but if you buy 36.5, you know, you would be up right now um, more than double, as you can see. So those are the few different ways that you can actually be able to trade kind of like you're shorting and not have any margin. Now, the beauty of this is you do not have to worry about being liquidated. You actually cannot be liquidated on this contract because margin isn't involved. What can happen is if in fact that the market cap did hit one, um, one billion, then you would technically lose, um, but that would take a very, very, very crazy move for that to occur. Other than that, other than the market cap hitting a billion or one of these other coins, you know, a billion you're you know you price can go up as much as you want as long as it doesn't hit a billion the beauty of that guys is that even when 
as you can see here, price kept going up after September 26. If you see where my cursor is, you in any amount of short a position, you would have been terrified, right? You know, price had doubled. But guess what? That's not a worry. Because had you bought this right when the contract came out, guys, of other slash none of these coins will hit 1 billion market cap, you bought it like, let's say, 50-50, which is pretty fair. Probably someone would have traded with you at 50-50. That means that you, yeah, you, you would have made a pretty significant return as well if you had gone with a decent amount of size. And think about it this way. You buy the contract at, you, you buy this saying um, that other or no coins will hit 1 billion before April 2025, and you buy it at 50 cents. You buy yes at 50 cents. Now, if you think about it, Mudang doubling actually did not have as large of an impact on this as much as you might have thought. The contract went for about 50. It went down to about 36.5, um, what you would have purchased, and then it went right back up as Mudang fell. So you would have made money, as long as you don't you know, panic and just get out of there. So this is one thing that you can do on Polymarket that I wanted to show you guys. No one is talking about it. People are just talking about the market, but they don't talk about the implications or how you can actually use this market to your advantage. So this is essentially a safe way that you can trade options um, or synthetic options on any meme coin that you want. And this is how you do it. You either trade the direct contract of Mudang, you know, betting on it hitting a billion market cap, or you can trade this one right here and it's gonna be quite similar. I prefer this one, but this is one that you could trade as well if you wanna isolate Mudang. And you were saying, hey, I don't think it's gonna hit a billion in market cap. Like I had said before, even if you had bought it immediately, guys, on September 26th at 8 p.m., which seems like it would have been a terrible time for you to have bought it, because guess what happened? This is September 26th at 8 p.m., guys. Price went up 140%. Even though you had uh, purchased it and uh, purchased, you know, Mudang not going to a billion dollar market cap, even if you had done that, price went up 140% and you still would have been fine had you bought, you know, no, at 61, look, now it's at 91. It just did not budge. So a lot of very, very cool things that you can do and a lot of, I think, a lot of ways you can take advantage of poly market traders who are betting on these coins hitting a billion. Um, so yeah, I just want to share this with you guys. This is the chart of all of the, the coins. The best one likely just to trade is other. With that being said, at the end of the day, you can also always trade perpetuals. But the problem with trading a direct perpetual such as Mexi is you're going to likely get liquidated even on 1x leverage. Even on 1x leverage, had you shorted here, you would have been liquidated. That's a fact. You cannot survive at 100% gain on 1x leverage, guys. So with that being said, poly market is actually becoming one of the safer ways in order for you to short a meme coin. And with that, happy trading. Do what you want with this information and try to make money.